Hello guys and welcome to your 24th Java tutorial in which we are going to be finishing this small mini series of Java 2D graphics. Uh, now in this tutorial we shall be going over how to create uh, text strings or text messages that we can put and display on the screen. Now as you can imagine uh, drawing out lines for every letter and every message you want to display on the screen would be a hideous pain uh, so instead, when the people were originally coding Java, uh, they gave us a great uh, method. Sorry, going getting ahead of myself there. A great method that is in the G2 uh, or the Graphics 2D class, and that method is called uh, draw string. Uh, and this draw string method takes three arguments, one of which is the message that you want to display, which is going to be in this case, "Hey, guys." I'm a string. All right. Make sure you spell it exactly this way. All right. That's very important. No, I'm 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 kidding. No, it's it's not important at all. But anyways, after that, there are two more arguments uh, which specify the x and y coordinates of this string. And I'm just gonna put it at 4050 for no particular reason. And as you guys remember, I hope you hope you remember how the Java coordinate system works with the y going down and stuff but anyways that's all you really need to do to display the string let's go to our main class run this program bam we get uh, hey yeah I'm s string alright that's that's solid that's solid but it's kind of boring I mean there's really nothing we really did to the string what if we wanted to display the string with a different font what would we do then well then there's actually a font class or something called a font class in Java uh, so we need to import that from java.awt.font the actual class and how do we use this font or this font class uh, well we act there's actually a great method in the graphics studio class so we will uh, called set font so to actually access it we need to put g2.setFont and in our parentheses here we need to create a new font class uh, and this font class will have the arguments of first the type of font and I'm just gonna set that to serif next uh, whether you want to make the font bold italic or both uh, and in this case I am just gonna put font dot bold and by the way all of these are constants that are stored in the font class that tell the program to display the message as a bold message and the last parameter would be the size of your text I'm gonna set it to 14 as you know uh, probably the standard size of text would be 12 and like in Microsoft Word but 14 seems like a good size in this case uh, so now that we've actually had that finished or had that have that line of code finished uh, it's automatically gonna set the font of any uh, string that we draw from this G2 class uh, so if we run this program once again we shall see that our string, our hiagu I'm s string, is um, set to a new type of font, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool once again. Uh, and actually, if we change the color of our g2 variable, so g2 dot set color, something I taught you guys how to do in the last tutorial. And once again, we can create a new color object, two five five comma zero comma zero for simplicity, uh, which is the color red you shall see that the color has an effect on the string as well and we just made the string red uh, uh, and one thing I wanted to mention is that you can also combine types of fonts so we can put plus font dot italic so uh, we we can actually display our string in uh, two different ways with making it bold and italic sorry in one different way but two different elements and if we run this once again, we shall see that our string has been made bold and italic, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool as well. And before I go, I just want to teach you guys different type of uh, different types of fonts. Uh, there's sans serif. I be I believe. All right. I think. Yes, sans serif. And there's also mono space. I I believe once again. So let's try it just to make sure. Mono spaced. There we go. And this is kind of like computer type text. You know, like hi guy I am S string. 
and this computer type font. Uh, so yeah, those are the three most common types of fonts used in Java. I think I've just kind of ran you through, ran you guys through these two methods. Uh, and also, I just quickly wanted to mention that instead of actually creating a new font inside these parentheses, we can also externally create a font. Simply fo font font f set equal to new font with all the parameters inside. But that's really tedious and awkward. And uh, if you're only using one Graphics 2D object, you're most likely just going to use this way of creating a new font, uh, an instance of a font class in the parameters right away. Uh, so I, I suggest to stick with that, guys. Uh, and anyways, thanks for watching this tutorial. Hope you learned something new, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Peace.